Here we're going to be looking at admission of a new partner into a partnership here and our example is going to be a bonus that's going to be going through the original partners here based on some unrecorded asset appreciation. The example also could be for some unrecorded goodwill here but in either case uh, the new partner coming in here is going to uh, create a bonus here based going to the original partners based on the investment that they make here. So looking at our existing partners here, you got partner A and partner B here and they have a capital balance total amount here of $150,000 and then their capital and profit uh, ratios here are 50% uh, here split up for the part, part the profit between the partners A and partner B here. Now partner C invests $54,000 and what they're going to be getting for the $54,000 investment is a 20 cent, a 20% 20 uh, share here in the capital and they're also going to get a 20% share here in the profit here. So let's go down and look at our example here. The book value of the original partners here is $150,000 here. And then the investment in a new partner, uh, it's going to be for $54,000 he's going to pay. So the total capital is going to be for $204,000 after the uh, new partner is admitted here. So let's go down here and look at uh, what the value of this partnership based on that partner sees investment here. So they make a $54,000 investment for a 20% interest in the partnership. So doing our arithmetic here, 54,000 divided by 20% gives us $270,000 implied value here for the partnership. So the total implied value here is $270,000. Now the total capital invested here is $204,000. So just subtracting that 270 less to 204,000 gives us $66,000 worth of asset appreciation uh, here going to the original partners here. So that suggests that there's a bonus here. So let's go down and look at our example here. Now partner C has a capital amount here uh, that should equal here. 20% times the total capital that they have. So our total capital here we had uh, calculated here at $204,000 and partner C is going to get 20% of that. So the allocation of uh, 204,000 times 20% means that they have $40,800 worth of capital that they're going to be allocated on their admission into the partnership here. But they paid $54,000 here for um, their investment in the partnership. So the difference here between the amount that they're getting of 40,800 and the amount that they made of fifth or that paid here 54,000 uh, suggests that there's a bonus involved here. So let's go up and look at how we'd handle that bonus. And that would be here the difference between partner C's contra contribution and the interest recorded indicates that there's unrecorded intangibles, goodwill or unrecorded unrecorded appreciation or in the existing assets here. So again the 54000 here was paid only $40,800 here is recorded so we have $13,200 here to account for here. And now we would allocate this $13,200 to the original partners per their original profit and loss ratio here a 50-50% that we looked up here. So A would get 50% of this $13,200 for $6,600 and B would get 50% uh, here, 13,200 times 13,200 for $6,600 here. So going up and looking at our uh, table here, we have partner A, they originally had $60,000 here in a capital balance and then they're going to get this $6,600 bonus here based on the admission of partner the new partner here and then capital a uh, partner B had 90,000 original in their capital balance here and they're also going to get uh, $6,600 in bonus here based on the admission of the partner C and then going over here and looking at their profit allocation well it was 50 50 before but since the new partner is going to get 20 percent then we just have to divide up the 80 percent equally here so partner A is going to get 40 percent partner B is going to get 40 percent now let's just go down here and look at partner C they were uh, calculated to get here 40,000 
$800 here in their capital balance based on that $54,000 investment where the difference is going here to the bonuses divided up equally here between partner A and partner B. Now again partner C is going to get 20% here in their for their cap that their capital amount here equals 20% and the profit that is be allocated is 20%. And then of course our total amount here was $204,000 and that uh, represents here a total capital of 100% and the total profit here would be also 100% based on the profit ratios that we have for each one of them. So let's go down here and look at uh, a note that we have to look at here. Now if the appreciation were realized, that was at $66,000 here. This is that total asset appreciation that we calculated out to be $66,000 based on the total capital here of $204,000 less, well, difference between the total capital here of $204,000 and the total implied fair value of the uh, partnership here of $270,000 gives us this asset appreciation of $66,000. So if we go down and we allocate that uh, appreciation here as if it were realized, as if the $66,000 were realized, A partnership, our partner A would get 40% of that. Now that's on our profit ratio that we have here showing for our new uh, partnership when we've got the third partner or our partner C admitted here. 40% to A, 40% to B, 20% to C. So going down here, A would get 40% of the 66,000 for 26,400. B would get 40% here for of the 66,000 again for 26,400. And C would get 20% of that 66,000 for $13,200. So the point I want to make here is the reduction of partner C's initial capital balance here. They had they invested 54000 but they're only getting 40800 for the capital balance, which is the difference is $13,200. That represented, is, represents the bonus to the original partners, and that compensates for or negates any of the subsequent allocation of realized gain to partner C here of $13,200 if in fact the asset appreciation here was actually realized. So you got the $54,000 paid less the $40,800 recorded gives us that $13,200 worth of uh, up appreciation that they would receive here had it been realized here. So let's go up and then look at how we'd record this investment. Now our assets here would be uh, debited here for 54000 and then the capital accounts for A here would get credited for 6600 and capital for B would get credited for 6600 and capital C would go to be debited here or credited here for forty thousand eight hundred dollars. Now, a the six thousand six hundred was for the bonus here. B again for the bonus here of six thousand six hundred, and C would be for their capital investment that they're receiving here for the admission into the partnership.